August the 1st, 2024. Because you're looking at images of the U.S. and Mexico and the Atlantic and the very edge of the Pacific Ocean. Look at what the heat's done from these incoming solar flares up in the Midwest, in Indiana, and all through there, Illinois. Also back over the Colorado area. The heat is just burning up everything right now. It's even creating storms where there's very little moisture. That's an early warning sign that we are in trouble. We know that we're going into a heating pattern on the planet, not man-made. It's a cycle. Bottom right, guys, that's what we're watching right there. This thing now has a 70% chance of development. I'm a little concerned because our government, which we trust absolutely, without doubt, from the Secret Service all the way down the line, they are not paying much attention to this. The Navy model has not come up with anything. CMC is, uh, Canadian model is not doing much at all. And <clears throat> when you think about it, excuse me, why should we trust them? We know we have weather manipulation, all kind of other things. And when you get a storm that's approaching like this one, and no one's really coming out with warnings to anybody, it makes you realize how little they care about the populace of the world. we got a very elite group of politicians. And what they're best at is lies. I'm not trying to go there away from the subject very much. But we found out today that uh, after the Secret Service director got fired, Ms. Cheadle, they pulled the number two man into a congressional hearing, guys. Um, most of you saw it, big, big guy, crew cut, marine-looking guy. Anyway... He got caught lying he, in, in that congressional hearing because now whistleblowers are coming out on this secondary person and saying he's the one that caused the stand down. And you saw the frustrated look on Cheadle's face as she was getting hammered. Remember that? And now this guy comes in a couple of days ago and, uh, excuse my huskies, but, and lies to the people to me and you and now we found out he's the one that did it Cheadle was just a faceplate like many of the politicians that we see from Buttigieg to Mayorkas to Kamala Harris all fake puppet faces so the deep state has someone to blame it on sorry about that rant but that's where we are at right now but guys in Cuba in Florida in the Gulf of Mexico the storm is winding up very tight. I can't believe, again, this, something this close is not being told to the people. Florida is a red state. Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas are red states. I guess maybe the less voters that survive an, an event like this would be better for the demonic politicians that are doing nothing but poly, uh, pushing lies right now. It's sickening. And most of us are very tired of it. We watched it go on and on and on. I think it's time now for everyone to pray, whether we do it in a mass prayer or do it individually, for our Father in heaven to start taking these demons down. We've seen it. He has exposed the evil to us. Let us see what is wrong with society. So now, Father in heaven, Please, take these demons out. you got a lot of God-loving people on this planet that appreciate everything that you have done. You created this environment. You created a perfect planet. And Satan comes along in the garden and puts in a bunch of Kenites, sons of Cain, that will do everything to, to destroy your creation. It's a beautiful creation. It was at one time perfectly in balance and father you had to destroy most of it to take away these demons it's happened a couple of times and we know it but father we beg you we ask you we plead with you and we pray to you stop these demons that hate everything on the planet that does not go along with them and i think they hate each other father they are waiting in line to take the other one out with an ete brute moment just like they did biden Father in heaven, we've seen a few of these people go out lately, big politicians. 
You have your hand on that balance scale, and we need your help right now. When you get the corruption that's all the way down and through the justice system to where it puts no power in the hands of the people, then now we need your help. In Christ's precious name, Father, I pray. Amen. Now, I guess God wanted me to say that. Let's get back to this video. 8.30 p.m. update. The spaghetti models you're seeing coming up across Cuba, up into the Gulf of Mexico. A couple of them skating across north of Tampa, back into the Atlantic. Jacksonville, you got one close to you, all the way over to the central part of the uh, Florida Panhandle, guys. Again, Navy model is not in here, and the Canadian model has backed out. I guess the government is really trustworthy, but I'm not going to go back there. Let's look at something else. Okay, enough of that rant. I'm going to try to get this through without mentioning how disgusted I am of what's going on. You're looking at the Navy model from Africa to the U.S. Here, we have a very powerful storm. Do you see Indian, any indication of it being there? Not at all. Who would be hit the worst with the storm before the election? It would be Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Red states. Now, Alabama, you worry me a little bit about some of the politicians that you let get away with stuff in Montgomery, but I'm going to end that at there. Here's the Navy model. Let's look at the Canadian model. Let's take a quick look at the Canadian model. They're being a little more honest. Watch in the Cuba area after we start this there. It picks up along the west coast of Florida, up through the Panhandle, Georgia, South Carolina, and exits out uh, around the Hatteras area of North Carolina and heads over to the British Isles. Let's look at it one more time. There's coming in two. There's August 4th, the 5th. It's already ashore. We don't have that much time. Today's the 1st. And it's actually moving faster, according to my calculations, looking at the radar, than what they're telling us. And would you ever think, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's not a storm there, maybe it's my imagination, but have you ever thought that they would actually try to prevent this information from coming forward before an election? And the Deep South, of course, is that we're red. We are conservatives. We're not demonic Democrats that are out to destroy the whole planet because they were born from the devil, not from above. Excuse me, got back into this rant. Anyway, guys, in the morning, I will update this. There's not more, much more information than what I'm showing you. And uh, I'm going to get me a glass of tea and try to calm down right now. I'm just very upset at the whole situation from what we've seen the Secret Service and now what we're seeing with this. We've never, guys, seen the Canadian model and the, uh, especially the Navy model, not come into focus when we have something this close to the co uh, coast. But maybe, just saying, if you're in the Navy you are and you have a high heel zone, you're maybe not paying attention to anything but the Olympics. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm going to end this rant now, but we will watch the storm very closely, no matter what else anyone else does. It's a heads up. Be safe.